here. Donna Renault's interactions with Beverly Stevens gained national attention. As a result, the Fort Smith Police Department received hundreds of phone calls, complaints, and death threats, saying Renault was rude for chastising Stevens as she wept and asked for help. Mm-hmm. 
On September 7, 2022, at 4.07 p.m., Chatham County Police were called to a domestic disturbance at Okota Road between mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. Officers first spoke with Lady as she was the one who called. She told police she and her mother had a dispute over clothing in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. She said that led to a verbal altercation over how things were, referring to living conditions and other matters. Then, the dispute became physical. Mm -hmm. Leilani mentioned that she was on to prevent the conflict from escalating further. She said she did not wish to press charges against her mother. Officers then spoke with Miss Howell. She created the dispute over the washing machine and the the essentially supports Leilani, her boyfriend, and her grandchildren. Miss Howell defense after Leilani yelled and got in her face. Eventually, Miss Howell's son arrived to take her back to his place. Miss Howell her she may have to evict Leilani and her boyfriend. Before leaving, Miss Howell's son told the officer that his mother was tired of the conflict and that Leilani had a very long history of stealing from her mother to hide the next day, on September 8th, Ms. Howell filed a petition in the Magistrate Court of County to have Leilani and her boyfriend evicted from her home. The court document alleges they have damaged my property, and at this point, no one is living in peace, and she wanted them removed as soon as possible. Shortly after, she headed to Illinois on a three-week work assignment, but expected to return home before her daughter moved out. The week of September 25th to October 1st was challenging for Leilani. The realities of adult life, its financial obligations and legal consequences came crashing down upon her. First, she received notice that the family court had entered a judgment against her. As a result, she was required to pay her mother $150 monthly in child support. The payments were to begin on November 1st. Then, around the same time, Leilani received the eviction notice. She was essentially destitute and under extreme financial pressure without her mother's support. <coughs> On Wednesday, October 5th, just days after receiving the eviction notice, <coughs> Leilani's babysitter received a text message at 5.30 a.m. <coughs> the message said she might be needed to look after the kids. She found the message surprising as she usually walks the kids on weekdays from around 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. on Monday, Saturday. At 9 a.m., the baby could receive a secret text message from her mom. The mom said, hey, have you seen something? She responded that she told me and then immediately headed to the house to search. When she arrived at the house, she was told her help was not needed. She called Miss Howell, and that's how the family of the Quintons disappeared. Miss Howell, 20-month-old Quinton, is reported missing. Miss Howell, 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 Miss How
Who was inside the home when Quentin went missing? Mr. Howell stated. My sister, Ellie her boyfriend, three kids, and her brother, Paul. Mr. Howell said the idea that Quentin wandered off is baffling. I've never seen him open the door, Howell said. But Quentin never opened the door, so, I mean, that's what's crazy about everything. An open record for... Abduction, according to police. Police spoke with the biological father, and he was cleared of any involvement. During interviews, several neighbors stated that they had seen Quentin outside the house and wandering the